Bacteria, the bombing of rebel bastion homes by government forces has entered its 21st day. Opposition groups claim over 100 people were killed on Thursday itself, taking the death toll to over 9,000 in the last 11 months. The violence continues even after a UN report accused the government of crimes against humanity. It has even identified Syrian commanders and high-ranking officials who may be guilty. Former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan has been appointed the world's world bodies envoy to Syria. CNN, IBN and IBN 7 are the first two Indian news channels to report from the conflict zone. Strategic Affairs Editor Surya Gangadharan reports from Damascus. A 40-minute ride from Damascus airport to the heart of Syria's capital city. And nothing on the way to suggest a brutal conflict in homes raging just north of here, about 90 kilometers away. But there is an undercurrent of tension here in Damascus. Concerned about what decisions the Arab League summit in Tunis could take. Could it lead to a wider war? Perhaps a civil conflict that some say is already raging here in Syria? Could we see Western intervention? Perhaps even an international strike of some kind? We'll bring you all that from here in Damascus. With Smita Sharma, I'm Surya Gangadharan. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has given the Syrian opposition a vote of confidence. She said, we believe that the Syrian National Council, which will be there, sitting at the table, will show that there is an alternative to the Assad regime, one that respects the rights of all Syrians, unquote.